What's up guys, Joe Drake here with a little early morning mindset boot camp. So going through this past week or two and, and starting to reread a really good book, Seven Habits of Highly Effective Individuals. For those who have not read it, definitely something you guys should pick up if you're looking to kind of get to that next level in your thought process and how you deal with the world. And for those who have, definitely a great one to go back through. So the piece that I wanted to pull from what Stephen was talking about, the author, uh, and an activity that he has you guys do in the book is I want you guys to take a second and visualize yourself. So you're right here, all right? So I want you to take a minute, even as you guys are watching this video, close your eyes, think about yourself kind of floating up in the corner of the room, all right? And you're able to look down upon yourself uh, and you're not just analyzing yourself, but you're able to actually analyze your thought process. So the ability to, to pull ourselves out of our body and think about how we're reacting, how we're thinking, how we're processing, that is an entirely human ability, all right? So other animals don't have the ability to sit back and analyze their thought process and problem solve and, and how they could approach it in a situation differently. That's something that we're able to do. That's why we obviously dominate the world, right? Humans are great, but what if your mindset and your thought process is not how you'd like it to be? How do you go about changing that? Because the fact that you can pull yourselves out of it means that you can change it and you can have an impact on it. So you think about this is you throughout the day. You have these things that come in. They're coming in you from different angles. They happen to you. You know, whatever. My, my dog gets sick. Uh, my, you know, I don't have kids yet, but my kids aren't listening to me. Uh, my my fiance is mad at me, Megan. Uh, and... And we assign and attach meanings to things. So something bad happens, someone cuts you off while you're driving, that's pretty common down here, right? So you attach a meaning to it. You can either get pissed off, flip them off, yell at them, and you've attached the meaning that that person, that person doesn't give a, give a crap about you and they jumped in front of you. Uh, or you know you can process it a different way, and you know, hey, maybe this person's in a hurry. You know, maybe, maybe it's better they get there faster than me. You know, so the reality of it is you are in control of your thought process. Easier said than done to change it, but if you guys were to sit back and, and you can you can take a look down at yourself and you're not happy with the way that you're you know addressing things and the meanings that you're attaching, then go about trying to change it. Um, it obviously took you a lifetime to get there, uh, to really get into a certain pattern and, and process of thinking and how you guys attach meanings and give emotions to things, but you are in control. Your emotions do not control you. You attach emotions to things that happen. And that's how we go about daily life. So for me, I prefer to be in control, give the emotions to thing that, things that I want to and things that don't matter as much. Just let them float on, pass on by, all right? So early morning boot camp for you guys, a little mindset thinking. You guys, get after it this week. If you have not picked up that book, uh, Seven Habits of Highly Effective Individuals, do it.